there is a movie called 127 hours if you haven't watched it watch it let's put this movie on the side now I'll come back to it in a second the subject of this session what I want to share with you is a sentence that I heard some time ago and it got me thinking it's a beautiful sentence it's so deep but but let's talk about the surface make your mess your message I'll say it again make your mess your message let's talk about this for a while two realities reality number one life is hard things happen sometimes good news sometimes bad news sometimes horrible news that's reality number one reality number two is that you're surrounded with people and guess what people are watching you all the time family is watching you children are watching you partners spouses are watching you colleagues are watching you bosses clients friends society you name it whoever is part of your universe is watching you not watching you in a bad way they're not monitoring you and then you know you know in a spooky way no but we we are you know we live with each other and the same way you watch people people are also watching you therefore it is very important that you are aware of this reality so that you know how you conduct yourself in life especially when you're in a messy situation you can handle messy situations in different ways there's the negative ways by surrendering giving up making it even a bigger mess failing complicating things further you know um, uh, creating more problems i don't want to talk about that let's talk about the positive side you can handle your mess in two ways number one is handle it in a way that make you inspire people where people around you at home society work colleague friends family children look at you and learn lessons about life from the way you're handling this your strengths your anti-fragile nature your, your emotional power your mental abilities so the first option the first good option is to inspire people remember they're watching you all the time the second option and that's the smart part is to make it your message even in a business sense make your mess a story or a purpose or a life mission or an activity where you can turn it into what gives meaning to your life or also what generates financial rewards I'm going to go back to the 127 hour story if you haven't watched it watch it it's a story of a person who was hiking I think in the Grand Canyon something happens and rocks fall on him while he's stuck he's walking in a you know in a, in a, on a riverbed dry riverbed and one of the rocks falls on his arm bottom line he with his own keys he has set of keys and I think a Swiss knife or something like that he cuts his own arm imagine your house key or your car key that you use to imp amputate your own arm he cuts it because he has no other choice and his 127 hours are absolute hell at the same time a remarkable story of survival this becomes a book and the book becomes a movie and he hits two birds in the same stone although I don't like to use this as an example but anyway one becoming a source of inspiration two he became a millionaire 
because he told this story. I remember another story, somebody who, a friend who went through divorce, this friend got a book contract to write about the first 100 days after divorce. And there are countless stories. I mean, just look at Hollywood and the movies where it says, based on a true story, how the stories of people's mess challenges, you know, life has turned into either a bestseller or a movie, or at least a source of inspiration for people around them. Make your mess, and I'm sure, like everybody else, you have a messy part of your life, your message, a message of learning, a message of resilience, a message of encouragement, a message of strength, a message of persistence, a message of winning, of success, a message of inspiration. And if you want to take it to another level, package it properly, maybe it can become your core business or side business and bring you financial returns in a good and honorable and healthy way, of course. Think about that, because that also is about self-leadership.